Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to create simple notifications using IMG UI. Notifications are great for alerting users or displaying important messages without interrupting the flow of your application. Uh, you will have some boxes pop out in the bottom right of your screen. They're gonna have a title, they're gonna have a description and they will have a duration. So you can set the duration to one second, five seconds, 10 seconds, one hour, it doesn't really matter. Before starting, please leave a like and subscribe and also join the Discord server because I usually get my ideas from there. Um, anyways, let's get started. You need to be very careful. This tutorial is a bit longer than usual. Uh, you will also have the code in the description if you just want to paste it as always. But let's start. So first of all, we need to include two more things. We probably don't have if you follow the series we need chrono because we need to measure some time and we also need chrono and we also need vector after you've added these two let's create our let's go down here before main and let's create a struct called um notification why not and let's do a string title uh, let's do a string text so we're gonna have a title and a text then a float duration uh, we're gonna do this in seconds and then we need a time point to start the time so sd chrono uh, i think steady the clock and then time point yeah and we're gonna name this start time. After we've done this, we're gonna make a vector, std vector. This is gonna be a notification vector with our structure here. And we're gonna do notifications, name it like this. After we've done our struct, we can move to the show notification void and then to the render notification void. We're gonna have two main voids. One, the render notification void, this will run um, all the time and then show in every tick, I mean, and then show notification, you're going to run when you want to show a notification. It will push the stack size in the vector and the render notification will know to render your uh, notification. <clears throat> so let's start with show notification and we're going to do a constant string for the title i think the same for the text should be just fine so copy paste and just text the second one and then we're gonna have an int duration in milliseconds like this uh, after this let's open the void we need to create a pointer so notification 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 a static reference then we're gonna go notification dot title equals to the title we've been given in our void then we're gonna go same for the text and then we're gonna go notification duration equals to duration uh, milliseconds and we're gonna um, divide this by a thousand so we have it in seconds so we convert from millisecond to seconds then we go the start time will be equal to std chrono still steady clock and we need the time right now so we're going to use the now function and then all we have to do now we have to push our uh, notification so push back notifications actually not notification notifications we need here we need to push into the vector notifications that push back and we're gonna put our notification okay this is a bit confusing here that's why i told you to be careful anyways this is the easy part i'd say with the show notification and now we need to move to the function where we render notification so void render notification so why not 
first of all we're gonna have to set the window pause and size so IMGY set window pause to I'm vector q and the first argument will be we need to get the IO and then we need the display size dot x this should work display size dot x and minus 250 so we have the room for notification and then again for the y axis so dot y and here we're just going to subtract 100 because it's going to be a rectangle and after this we're going to use i'm guy condition always this is the window pause after this i said we're going to put the size so i'm gui set next window size and we're gonna do another i'm vector 2 and this time we're gonna use variables close to this one but leave a little bit of padding so if you used here 250 we're gonna use 240 and if you use there 100 we're gonna use 80 something like this and then we also gonna use i'm guy cont always now <clears throat> we need to go through all notifications so we're gonna do a big or uh int e equals to zero then we're gonna have i smaller than notifications notifications dot size and then we're gonna go actually just this we're not gonna do anything to i uh, we're gonna go notification. I hope I wrote it right. Jesus. Uh, notification equals to notifications. Why? Oh, this is confusing, man. This is really confusing. Oh, I sneezed. Anyways. Uh, let's do a float elapsed so we know the elapsed time equals std chrono duration it's gonna be float and then let's do a dead clock now should work uh, minus let's say minus the start time theoretically and then we're gonna count it so dot count um, this is your code and then we're gonna go still in the for if elapsed is bigger than notification duration notifications no notification duration jesus i should give other names uh anyways if this is true then I'm gonna open and say notifications dot erase so this is in the vector if the elapsed time is bigger than the duration it means the duration has passed and now we can erase notifications dot begin plus i else if it didn't get um that's here we actually do our uh, notification so i'm gui here we actually render it we're gonna begin a new window call the notification oh my god null pointer and then some flag so i'm gui window flags underscore i'm gonna copy this we're gonna put a few so first of all we're gonna create no decoration uh, then we're gonna put no inputs so no inputs and no no actually always always auto size also you need to put no title bar no move no blah blah if you don't already have those set for your application then we're gonna put the text so i'm gui text first of all we're gonna put a notification title Asian dot title and then we're gonna make it a constant um, 
char. Perfect. And then we're gonna go with a separator. It will look nice. And then we're gonna go IMGUI and we're gonna use text wrapped in this. And we're just gonna pull notification.text. Convert this to constant char as well. And then we can end our IMGUI window. And very important, now we make the eye um, grow. So here we type I++, not there in the for. Uh, anyways, this is everything. Now we literally go ahead and find a place in our main uh, loop somewhere after we've initialized everything. And here we're gonna put render notifications. So just render notifications here. It should run at all times. And then we're just gonna get a button. Let's say display notification. And if we press this button, now we're gonna use the show notification void. And obviously we give it a title text and the duration in milliseconds. So the title should be, I don't know, test notification. Then we're gonna put some text. This is a test notification, blah, blah, blah. And now a duration in milliseconds, we're gonna put five seconds. So if we run the debugger now, which everything should be fine. Uh, we have the growing rectangle from the past video. Anyways, we have the button here, display notification. And when we press it, as you can see, we have a notification. This is a test notification, blah, 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 with a title. And it will disappear after five seconds. Now, obviously you can push another font there if you don't want to use this one. Um, you can use another font. I use this one and it looks a bit bad. It will look very good with your normal font. This is a bigger font and uh, it doesn't really matter. This is how you do the notification. You can also add uh, some icons to make it look better if you want. Anything really. You can use the rainbow line. I showed you how to make in the watermark video. You can use it here instead of the separator. So many, many ideas, but I'll leave you to it. Thank you guys for watching as always. Subscribe, leave a like, join the Discord server, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.